the president of the United States has said that he rejects the results of the, the election. Is, do you think that there is the potential, realistically, do you think that like we're close to like a civil war type situation? No. No? I, I don't think we're close to a civil war. I think that there are some parts of the country that would certainly consider doing something violent. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think we're at risk on, of terrorism. Yeah, I think we're at a risk of domestic terrorism. I don't think we're at a risk of civil war necessarily because I think – I think what what we're going to see is a lot of the candidates that are like saying like oh well this was obviously fraud like they they're full of shit and they know that they're full of shit and, but they're doing it because they're appealing to this large to the base. base. Yeah. They should all be embarrassed mostly because they're lost. They should be humiliated. Yes. They should be so embarrassed. <laughs> and both of our senators who are in runoffs against yeah. their democratic candidates both of whom got caught up in in covid stock sale scandals Awful, 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 awful. And Georgia's been getting bluer yeah. and bluer, and, and if you if yeah, you okay. haven't seen that, then you're not opening your eyes. So let's say I'm Donald Trump, and I want to win the election. I'm going to use the court system. I'm going to leverage the court system, my team of lawyers, and all my money, and I'm going to win the election. What, does, what do I have to do okay. to win the election? I don't think there's an attorney out there who honestly thinks that anything they're going to do is going to overturn the election yes yeah. i think that it is a hundred percent posturing and it's taking money from people that want to make a stink for political purposes so some of the firms representing trump are some of the biggest firms in the country and you, and you know they've got this posturing like oh it's fake it's fake it's fake but one article they were like you know the judge actually told the attorney face to face like are, are you alleging fraud and they say at this time no really Lawyers tend not to lie to judges knowingly. No. We've all been there where we've had a client that we know is full of shit and we know they're going to lie and we have to try to deal with that because we can't get out of the case. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and you it's too tell. late. And also and, you just tell people. And the classic line is, you know, my client would like to address the court. Yes. My, or my client will now provide testimony in narrative form. If your client demands <laughs> right? to go to the stand, you just let them – you, you yeah. ask, what's your side? Because, <laughs> because, you, because you, can't, have a seat. you can't yeah. help them lie to the court. Right, yeah. right. So, you know, I can't question my client and help them provide detail to back up something that I think is a lie. But I think what we're seeing here is these firms are are knowingly jumping into something, knowing it's full you of shit to, either, because it's either, a ton of money. And I think okay, what yeah, a lot of these firms are saying yeah. is, we, you know, there's a right to file this claim. There are some things that we think are, are odd, but what they're not saying is, you know, this is fraud, black and white. Well, yeah, which and, and, why and, you are seeing that all these claims be so narrow? Yeah, right. So, <laughs> right. but what they're doing is they're doing this for a client who's then stepping outside of the court. And going on to the media and saying, this is a stolen election. We're going to overturn it. Look at these lawsuits. And they're suing <laughs> yeah. over 529 uncounted ballots in a, in a county where Biden won by 150,000 votes. Uh, these tiny losses yeah. are created a narrative of right. fraud, which doesn't exist. And it's mainly for like the media just to kind of stoke mm -hmm. the base. Yeah, because they want to stoke their base and they want to stir up anywhere there, there, there is going to be a runoff. They want people to say like, well, no, this the election is being stolen. So I, I didn't vote in the general, but I got to go vote in the, in the primary. Which is fascinating because it might also okay. have the effect. I have to wonder for some people whether it might depress turnout if you're convinced the election is like it doesn't fraudulently matter. count. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It, or is it going to push more Democratic voters to come out because they're tired of this bullshit? They might vote in person. So, I just think it's so terrifying. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I was just kind of like shocked at the amount of people who are willing to be like, yeah, this is fraud. Because, I mean, I just feel like th like there's a, it is a huge – I mean, I, fraud I feel is like they're inciting a, violence, fraud basically. Fraud is usually – like in scary. law, but, you have to really have some evidence before you allege someone of knowingly lying to you. Right. right. Like, you can't just – there's, there's rules of civil procedure where literally one of the few areas where you have to plead in particularity is in fraud. Right. Is where you, when you're alleging someone lied to you, you have to have some iota of evidence that someone knew the facts and then misrepresented them to you. Mm -hmm. And in this case, they haven't. It's it's kind of embarrassing to watch the more the legal profession be involved yeah, with it's, it. It's, it's upsetting. <laughs> yeah, it's very upsetting. Have you guys? Are you guys? I mean, online. I'm I'm friends with a couple uh, people who you know are very very right wing, and just hearing like some of the things that they're sharing, and like looking at like mm -hmm. the things that like they're looking at, like it's shocking and honestly yep. kind of illuminating to like kind of view the world through that uh, yes. lens. I think that so many people just get fed a lot of information that's very one-sided, very biased, and it's hard not to buy into that. And I think that the people shoving that down our throats are doing it for ulterior motive. I think people know that what they're doing is 
is wrong it's not true and they're mm -hmm. doing it anyways because it makes them a lot of money gives them power gives them yeah. fame guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this let us know post a comment guys we went to the trouble of creating you a fantastic pdf listed in the description of this video it is a summary of the key mistakes to avoid when planning for your estate um you can go get that steven and james both wrote it together and it is a summary of all of the mistakes they've seen people make as they think about estate planning don't make those mistakes your family is the ones that's going to pay for it and they're not going to like you very much so that's how you go in to avoid them. Click the link in the description. You can get that PDF. It's absolutely free. You're welcome. We're so generous. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you would like us to plan your estate, give us a call, 404-939-7562, or visit us on the web, modernestateplanning.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.